Do you see Newt up here on the ceiling? Can you see her on the I-beam? Oh, yeah. Well, this is the story of Newt and Geb retold unexpectedly, but we're going to see how she comes up from the floor and vaults over the ceiling and we see her face on the I-beam. And you can't be symbolically more delighted than that. How do you see her face? Well, I beam. <laughs> when you beam, you see, you open, you smile, and suddenly the roof holds itself, but it lifts as high as it can. And that's the vaulted newt. This, this would be the Syrian absolute energy here. And do you see how her womb is the light? Her heart is the infant? Her journey is the egg, the heron, and the shell, this great arc of human consciousness? And you start to see the serpent, you see the blind serpent as her belly button? meaning that the serpent of evolution is this great journey. And actually, you can follow this. It flows all the way around the roof over to that egg above the chalice, as if to say we're finally in this greater signature of things, that Newt above shows us that the journey begins in innocence and that we take a journey across the ages because as we come down, we're going to see this great relationship that as one stands here, we become a watcher, meaning we do not see our face or our reflection. We see ourselves as essence. And this whole journey, this dance, is that we try to return, but we can't. And so in this room, we set the wheel of time and eternity in motion. We go downstairs into the structure, into the archetypes, and we will go into the domestic, meaning how do we do this, how do we live, and finally here we will come back up into the structure and again as, as a type of immersive theater because as one steps here this is where we see the revelation of the tarot as a structure, as an operating system. You can see the square, you see the foundation and the wheel just as in squaring the circle. Mm -hmm. But here we're going to see this, this relationship like a gyroscope that once we set the wheel in motion it creates balance. The foundation is not which character do we believe in or not believe in, but they create like a piano, the structure that holds us. And as we tilt up this way, this story that takes us into the story of ascension, we see Anumus and Thoth and Ra and Nagas, meaning all of this journey. And down here we can see the pyramids, the story of the Romans. In other words, that we're going to go across the ages asking over and over again, what does it mean to be human? And what is extraordinary is here we see essentially that ever vanishing Bindu point, but we start to see this Christus, the story of the light of mind that finally does not anchor, you see the pillars on the ground, it's that the light of mind opens this other quality of consciousness. If we think physiologically, this is actually a manifestation of we enter the world this way, we stand up into this so that we go into these two eyes, duality. But once we uh, achieve the balance of these things, do you see it's to do this. It's to hold the greater eye of wonder in the balance of form and structure. So it's a bit like saying it's finally the piano mm -hmm. holds the music. <laughs>